Can you protect for more than a fart? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to be a fan, I mean, you really want to go deep. <laughs> I was intrigued by you know, the codependency discussions and stuff, and also I was thinking, I was thinking about um, accessories. I mean, you know, you gotta, can you wear something to, to you know, or just, you know, you know, maybe kind of match <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I mean, you can imagine, you get the free long running parts, you get the short running parts. It's sort of like, you know, the ones that are just not terribly embarrassing, and you just triple your words or say, you got, the, you got the big farts, I mean. One promotional strategy you might consider is giving away one of these to every politician. <laughs> I think you do a lot of, I think you do a lot of, a lot of uh, mind share, so to speak. <laughs> so, so the other thing is, you know, if we're going to put our money into investing in this product, um, you know, this seems like something that might be covered by insurance. I'd like to, I'd like to understand, you know, with the, with the medical bill that's going through Congress right now, how is that going to affect your business plan? Is this going to be something that's covered by universal health care? <laughs> you know, where, where, where this really, I think, resonates you know, for me, and, and if you were to ask my wife, would be, would be home use. <laughs> and, and, and I, I can really see this product you know, at, at home. I, I would definitely, I would definitely invest in one of these for myself. Can you tell them this is a, uh, this is a, this is very dear to my heart. Because my brother actually died from a brain cancer. <laughs> And I mean, he was hospitalized for months on end, and he was kind of teetering on edge for a while. <sighs> had he had this device, he might have saved his life. <laughs> so I see there is this opportunity. I agree with Paul. The home opportunity is fantastic. The accessories, you didn't really have time to go into that, but I think that's an excellent market that I might think might be a better revenue stream than the monthly subscription piece. <laughs> I do tend to think that the pricing is a little bit low because this has got to be the kind of saved my brother's life. And I think $49.99 just makes me question how truly valuable and how much this product really works. Paul, what's your score? Team A. Extensive scientific studies on this. Talk a little bit about what you've seen pre and post as far as people who have used this product. The, that the juice works. <laughs> our studies have confirmed that in 95% of our students, they perform two grades higher than they normally would. <laughs> so you do have a patent on this. This is patented, but you have. We have a patent. All the acceleration things. Okay, now, to me, I think there was a wonderful opportunity for colleges, and especially to tap into the incoming, the freshman market. I think it's a fantastic opportunity because once you get them hooked on the juice, they're going to be on the juice for that period of time. So loyalty should be able to come out of this if you catch them early. And then potentially even going in down market, down to high school. And then I'm even thinking about kindergarten. Starting off really, really young and seeing if we can nurture them through nature of the product. I mean, why stop there? I mean, we, we, we might even look at a, at a in the embryo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm going to take a little bit different tack. I actually think the product is, has a lot of potential, but also with, with great responsibility, there comes a lot of danger. So my questions are, if we're going to introduce this sort of game-changing kind of product into the market, what are you going to do about the addiction factor? You know, if, I, if I'm going to juice, if I'm going to go get juiced, you know, when I, when I need to have an exam, what's to stop me from getting juiced before I go on a date or before I, you know, do something else? And how do the people that I'm interacting with know whether or not I'm on the juice? Are you going to sell juice detectors? You know, if, if you go on an interview, how do I know if I'm interviewing somebody real or somebody who's on the juice? So you know, consider that as, a, as an extension for your product, a juice detector, to go along with your decelerator. The other thing is, you know, if, if we're going to put this on campus, and you're going to charge 10 bucks a shot, are we introducing any sort of you know, socioeconomic stratification? You know, where, where, where only, only rich kids can afford the juice. And then pretty soon, the people who are on the juice are making better grades. Uh, 
and all of a sudden the people on the juice are getting into the schools. Now, are you going to offer juice scholarships? So I don't think you who can't otherwise afford the juice. You know, this, this might be something you think about. You know, it could be a PR nightmare. <laughs> I met your brother. <laughs> I swear I met you. You know what? Oh, man. Uh, flashbacks. Um, yeah. Uh, how long does it get last? The juice is good. The juice. I, 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 I think, yeah, embryo? Oh, all the way. I'll just do it. Yeah. Like, uh, I want some. I, I think this is good. Ten bucks. No, no problem. Rent? Oh, I can't like this. Just a Oh. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 the experience was just awesome, the demo was really good, I felt really, really, really refreshed, I mean, so refreshed, like, just couldn't get it out of that exam, and the, just the, 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 Seven point five. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Team Dog. 